Hi guys, welcome back to Fairies Tutorials. In today's episode, we'll be looking at CSEC past paper questions for paper two under the topic energy conservation. Stay tuned. past paper questions and we're focusing on the topic energy conservation and we're looking at questions that were taken from paper 2 from the years 2016 to 2019 but also included is a specimen paper that is found in the syllabus those questions that are related to energy conservation all right now let's take a look at these questions now before we answer these questions into detail i have them here on one slide because i want you to note the similarities and the differences in the questions and just for you to take note of the pattern of how these questions come ramona is a cook for a caterer she finds it difficult to prepare meals on time. Suggest so two ways by which Ramona can achieve maximum efficiency when preparing the meals. Four marks. And this question was taken from the year 2019. Number two, you are required to prepare brunch for 20 family members. Explain two factors that should be considered for the most efficient use of the kitchen. That's another four marks. Number three, Vishnu is cooking curried chicken. Explain two techniques that he can use to conserve fuel while cooking the dish. That's another four marks. And number four, dried beans, Apple and lettuce are used in the preparation of meals. Suggest with a reason the food preparation practices that should be used for each of the food items to ensure the nutrients are retained. Now for this question is a little different. It's not asking about the conservation of energy, but rather the conservation of nutrients while cooking all right and number five mrs eddie intends to prepare a meal consisting of stewed beef rice and dried peas and pineapple drink discuss three strategies that she may use to demonstrate how time and energy may be conserved while preparing this meal now this question is from the it has the year 2015 there, but it's actually the specimen specimen paper, right? And that worth six marks, right? So more than likely, you may get a energy conservation question or a nutrient conservation question. And the value of the mark, if you're studying the pattern, you notice that the value of the mark is what? Is four marks, right? Now, I hope you note the similarities and the differences in which the question might come now let us look at some of the responses and i hope that you are also thinking along this path right and we're starting off with the 2019 question let's read it again ramona is a cook for a caterer she finds it difficult to prepare meals on time so just two ways by which ramona can achieve maximum efficiency when preparing the meals right so first off you could uh mention that what creating a time plan what is the purpose of a time plan guys the purpose of a time plan is to organize your order of work right your time plan also help you to identify the tools and equipment that are needed to prepare this uh, meal and also any necessary garnishes or decorations that are needed along with their measurements right 
So, and also you would need what? A recipe before you can write a time plan. Now, in creating a time plan, it will be more efficient. It will make Ramona more efficient as it helps her to create an order of work so that she can uh, be efficient in carrying out the task so that they will flow in logical order, right? So the things that are to be served hot, uh, the things that are to be served cold, when cre with creating the time plan, she will know exactly when to perform certain tasks and also she'll be more organized, good? So that is one mark there because remember it's a four mark question. All right, so one more for identifying and then another for explaining, all right? Our next uh, way, our suggestion is that she could carry out pre-preparation activities. So she could pre-prep, right? Or put her mise en place in place. So what are we talking about? So we're talking about cleaning, washing, dicing, gathering or collecting equipment needed or utensils needed, all right? Also thawing things that she is going to cook so that they can be ready so we speak about seasoning and marinating and if she's cooking dried dried pulse you know that she can rehydrate and soak so the peas may cook a little faster right so we're talking about all those free preparation activities now think about when you're having a practical at school don't you do pre prep activities and when you pre prep, you find out that you take less time, you use your time more efficiently when you're carrying out the practical, right? Same goes here for Ramona. All right, the next suggestion I have is ask her two, but I gave you three as a bonus. She could what? She could select energy saving devices, right? Such as if she's cooking dried peas, she may want to use a, a pressure cooker. If she's baking, she may want to use an electric mixer, which is. Uh, more faster than a wooden spoon used for creaming or even a hand mixer, right? A food processor may also be beneficial, a blender. So what she can do instead of grating, so what she can do is to select energy saving devices that will help her be become more efficient or use the time wisely, right? While she is catering. Good? All right. Now, let us look at the 2018 question. You are required to prepare brunch for 20 family members. Explain two factors that should be considered for the most efficient use of the kitchen, right? And that is four marks. All right, let us look at these responses. So the first one we have is what? Kitchen layout. So we are referring specifically to the kitchen work triangle now what is the purpose of the kitchen work triangle guys now the work triangle ensure that the distance between the work centers or we may say the workstation are as short as possible so we may speak of the storage to the cooker to the wash up station right and that should create a triangle and in close proximity good now the next factor is what pre-preparation activities as we discussed in the first question there so we speak of all the pre-prep activities that should be done before she actually start preparing preparing the meal for the brunch right so we speak of uh seasoning marinating cutting dicing cleaning good and next uh option could be selecting and making use of labor saving devices or energy saving devices right such as a pressure cooker for cooking tough cuts of meat or dried pulse and we gave the example earlier as it relates to food processors blenders versus to be grating or shredding manually on the grater the next suggestion is what selecting efficient cooking methods good for example if it's a case where um, it's a two course meal and you may have like uh, baked chicken on the meal and some form of baked dessert, what could uh, take place here is what? Baking can be done with what? More than one item at a time. So selecting efficient cooking method such as baking is also a way in which she can make efficient use of the kitchen. 
All right, 2017. Vishnu is cooking curried chicken. Explain two techniques that he can use to conserve fuel while cooking this dish. So firstly, we can speak of what? Keeping the lid on the pot, good? So this will maintain the cooking temperature, thus what? Saving fuel. So it, it captures and keep the heat inside of the pot for cooking the chicken versus to be cooking the chicken in, in an uncovered pot. So keep the lid on is one uh, such technique that can be used. Another is selecting the correct size burner for the pot size. So we wouldn't want to have a small pot and a huge burner, cause guess what? All the heat, extra uh, flames there will be exposed, which burn more energy that is not needed. So a pot that is smaller than the burner will waste the fuel another suggestion when replenishing water he should use hot water so this will prevent the temperature from the curry chicken from lowering thus conserving fuel so when we're cooking and, you, and the water needs to be replenished instead of just adding cold water from the top what he can do is to catch some warm water right and pour onto his chicken so that the temperature will not fall thus uh you would need extra fuel to build up back that particular temperature for cooking the chicken another uh suggestion is that he could cut the curry chicken in smaller pieces good and this will enable the chicken to cook faster thus saving the fuel right so if you're asked about curry chicken if you're asked about any particular meat, you may notice that these responses to the questions are versatile. Now, you know, if it's a tough cut of meat, you could also suggest uh, using the pressure cooker as well so that the, the meat can cook at a faster time. Now, let's take a look at the 2015 specimen uh, paper, right? So, Mrs. Eddie intends to prepare a meal consists of stewed beef rice and dried peas and pineapple drink discuss three strategies that she may use to demonstrate how time and energy may be conserved while preparing this meal and this question is worth six marks all right so let us look at the different ways so firstly she could cut the beef into small pieces see where we're having similar answers to these questions right so clean and marinate it and soak the dry peas overnight so we have pre prep there good as well as to cutting the uh the beef into smaller pieces next choose the most suitable sequence of preparation for example the pineapple juice may be prepared first so as to serve it chilled also, the stewed beef may be prepared before the rice because what the beef takes, takes a longer time to cook. Good. So while the beef is going, then the rice can uh, get started. So we have what? Overlapping or we may say dovetailing taking place. So we're using the work simplification techniques. Good. Use appropriate equipment. For example, a pressure cooker may be used to cook the beef right so all these options and i know you can, may can think of some for yourselves as well would apply to mrs eddie so that she can conserve time and energy while preparing this meal right also soaking the peas overnight would enable to be the peas to become softer thus taking a less time to cook uh, pre prepping for cutting up, cleaning, and marinating the beef as well will also enable her to save time as well. So, read your questions carefully. Uh, actually, most responses, or if not all of the responses, you'll notice that they are very similar and the questions are very similar as well. So, make sure you read carefully, think critically and just apply your knowledge right as it relates to this question how you can save time how you can save energy and some question may ask you how you can save nutrients as well all right 
you are awesome. You've made it to the end of the session. Please remember to subscribe, like, turn on your post notification bells so you can be notified when there's another upload. Most important, share with persons who you know will find this information useful. Thank you for making it Paris to Tours.